In the world of interrogation, nothing is ever as it seems. So while the script might be what we're discussing on this podcast, what my co-hosts Mark and Josh don't know is that both Matteo and I are both in on his interrogation of me. You'll have to listen to the full episode to find out what the real interrogation of the script really is. Stay tuned. Starring Mark as the criminal, Matteo as the interrogator, Joshua as Chief Ragnot and Dr. Russo, and myself as host, writer, and potential plagiarizer. This is interrogation. The questioning of the script begins now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to interrogation. The questioning of the script begins. Honestly, I don't know how we got here, but we're here. And as we go through the podcast here today, I'll explain whatever this this crazy endeavor is going to be. But before we even get into that, I think we can just start by uh, introducing our co-hosts and cast. I'll start off with my good old Ox Fiends and Expressionist Discovery co-host, Mateo. Mateo, you want to introduce yourself quickly? Yeah, Mateo, uh, as Rashad just said, uh... I am a usual on Rashad's podcast, co-host as usual. usual. You know, sometimes yeah. I do take the lead, but this time I'm like, you know what, this is Rashad's project, I'll let him uh, go. So I'm taking a little bit of a backseat, but of course I'm still here. Yeah, so we, I'm we, excited. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous? No, I don't know. I'm ready to laugh. Oh, my yeah, God. I think that's a good way of putting it. You're a, I, I would say you're a recurring character on the RPU, which is the Rochelle Podcast Universe. Yeah. Is that safe yeah. to say? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Same we also, we, yeah, we, we also have like new characters this time, literally. We got Josh. Josh, say hi. Hey, uh, I'm Josh. I haven't done a podcast with Rashad before, but I'm looking forward to it. This, I think this will be a lot of fun. Yeah, welcome to the Rashad Podcast Universe, Josh. We're we're happy to have you here. And I think the most surprising addition, this is this is like the moment in Avengers when your least expected character shows up. It's Mark. Hi, my name is Mark. Um, this is my first time doing a podcast for the RPU. Yes. RCU. Sorry. Yeah. The, the Rashad <laughs> Cinematic Universe, whatever it's called. Or pod I don't Okay, I'm tripping myself out. Sorry. <laughs> my name is Mark. Um, this is my first time working with Rashad, and honestly, that's surprising to me too. I'm an aspiring mixed media podcast actor and artist, and I just think Rashad nice. has really been looking over my talent, but I'm glad to finally be working with him. I, I felt like I sensed a, a, a strong amount of talent coming, and I felt like my my needs for this podcast would present a wonderful opportunity for your what, what do you call it? Mixed media podcast talents? <laughs> yes, um, a mixed media podcast um, artist and actor. Yes. Nice. Well, Probably I think that... Proud. I you am, got, I am. Mark's, Mark as a debut. Mark, the mixed media actor savant debut. I am a proud. Debut. I am so proud. And honestly, Mark has the most acting like genuine acting experience out of the, all of us, I think. I mean, so I'm excited to see the performance Mark turns in today. And I probably have the least acting experience, so I think exactly. that's a good combo. Yeah. Wait, I've never acted. Oh. Well, so, yeah, you you never acted, but you've been on. You have podcast experience. You have Rashad oh, podcast true, true, experience. True. Yeah. True. 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 Also zero experience. East exactly. Oh, Before we confuse our listeners any further about what this is. Um, let's just relay the fact that we're just as confused as you are, but let's help give a little bit more context. So essentially, I 
had written this like script. I mean, I wouldn't even really call it a script. It's like lines of dialogue. Um, I don't know, for like some sort of short film in high school. And I found it and I was talking about it with Josh, actually. And me and Josh were kind of having a laugh about it. And we realized that we needed to have a read through of this script and really look in and dig into what's actually going on, because I think the script is genuinely hilarious. Yeah, um, yeah, I was reading it and I thought it, it would make a, it would be really fun to, to have a, to have some people read it because it's just, yeah, it's I think it'll be. Yeah, yeah. I think I mean, me and Josh just read it recently. Matteo and Mark have not read this at all. But, but Mark, yeah. you were supposed to be involved with the original version of this. Do you remember anything about that? Um, to be honest, I very vaguely, but it sort of threw me through a loop to be reminded <laughs> that I actually was involved in this process in 2016, apparently. Well, I'm glad you didn't remember. I would be highly concerned if you remembered, you know, being involved with this literal junk. Um, but yeah, so Mateo and Mark have not really looked through the, through the script, but yeah. I mean, I think the best way to do it is we're, we're going to start with a quick read through of the entire script. And I don't know how to explain this, but the script is just terribly written, but I went over it yesterday and I kind of can remember what I was trying to do. And it was pretty stupid overall, but I'll help try and give some direction to to all of our actors here today um, in trying to make this happen. But Mark, Josh, Mateo, as you go through the script, please ask questions and I will try to answer them the best as I can and help kind of direct you guys about what's actually going on. And then when we're done with the read through, I am 100% sure you will have more questions. So we will discuss those questions and kind of look at the script again. Just make fun of it, honestly. Cool. I'm ready. Good. Great. So the script is called Interrogation. The setting is an interrogation room. Maybe there's a table. There's two people sitting on chairs across from each other. Basically, it's an interrogation. And we don't have much other information except that there's two individuals um, and they're both sitting across each other from this table. One appears to be an interrogator. One appears to be a criminal. The interrogator is going to be played by Matteo. The criminal is going to be played by Mark. And both Matteo and Mark are going to read these lines exactly as they are written um, <laughs> and probably laugh along the way. So, interrogator, Matteo, please begin. Wait, can I open the script? Yeah, you can open the script. Yeah, oh, I feel like okay. the script. If we're going to read it, you might, it, might, it might be helpful to read it. It, it Wait, might be helpful what to read it. What is this? So, are we, are, we only doing, are we only doing the first part with the criminal interrogator before we go to the next half? So, or? so you'll see that after the, like, the way it's written, I'm trying to explain this to our listeners, is that there's literally no script notes. All the stuff that I said about the table, that stuff I just made up to help, yeah, there's, there's no help our actors. Lines. What There's no this? lines. It's literally, it's literally just like pieces of dial, like poorly written dialogue, and then There's no the, interior, exterior. No, 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 none of that. So basically, when you get to um, the last line for interrogator, we'll pause because then I have to explain what's going on. So let's just start off with the interrogator criminal. Okay. Part. All right. Where were you on the night of the July twenty ninth? Um. Did you or did you not partake in illegal activity that day? No. Why are you lying? I did not partake. Look at me. Why are you lying? Police need to know the truth. I, I am not lying. I'm sorry? I am not lying. Look, I was at home. I wasn't doing anything wrong. Since when did you start buying arms from Dr. Russo? Never. Since never. Yes, you did. Yes. I know that you did. Stop making a fool out of everyone. Tell me. I don't know. What is Dr. Russo's full name? I don't know. I didn't do anything. Tell me what you know! The police are watching you, and there's nowhere that you can go. 
I don't know. I don't know. Perfect. That's perfect. Thank you. You have trained me well. You're welcome, Dylan. Okay. So so far, Mark and Mateo, what do you what do you understand from the script so far? Like, what is your understanding of what's going on? Um. um oh, do you want to go first, Mateo? Uh, sure. Sure. Uh, I there's an inter- there's a cop interrogating a criminal, and uh-huh. uh, he did something, but he's not going to admit it. And the uh, interrogator seems like they they know something that the criminal did. Maybe the criminal's name's Dylan. I don't really know. I'm a little confused. You but, shouldn't uh, be confused because the writing uh, is super confusing. Yeah, it's kind of a little hard to follow, but I'm hooked. Rashad, you do got me hooked. You do got me hooked. I appreciate you know. it. Who, who is Dylan? I gotta know. And what, what's Dr. Russo's full name? I gotta That's a know. good question. That's a good question. So, Mark, what, what do you think so far? So, this is my first time actually reading through it. Um, <laughs> to me, at first it sounded like... Wait, 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 wait. Mark, does that mean you never read through it when I asked for your involvement six years ago? Oh, or, no. I don't, <laughs> I don't even remember what I read, like, two weeks ago, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, okay. You're off the hook. What I was gonna say though is that at first to me it sounded like I what the criminal had been arrested and was in an interrogation room mm-hmm. in a police department, but now it sounds like it sounds like the interrogator and the criminal are in on something together. And yeah. the interrogator has been coaching the criminal on how to answer questions that possibly another interrogator will be asking them. Exactly. Yes, that that's exactly right. That was like the intention, I think, when I, I wrote the script. Um, and this is something I like I reread it and I tried to remember back to what I was trying to do. So basically, there's a criminal, there's an interrogator and the interrogator is asking the criminal about, and I quote, buying arms, very generic from Dr. Russo, whoever that is. And who exactly, is what was that? Oh, I just said who even who even is Doctor Russo? Like we, don't I, don't, know. I don't think we know. There's, there's, oh, there's no, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think part, of, part of what makes this script so beautiful is how little context there is for everything. Yeah, there's no context whatsoever. So what we know so far is that we have an interrogator asking about, you know, this criminal about what he knows about Doctor Russo, and we know that the police are watching the criminal, et cetera, et cetera. Now at the very end, there's sort of a reveal. That maybe this interrogation isn't real at all. Maybe they're, like Mark said, someone's training someone to, you know, practice for an interrogation that might happen in the future. The very last line, Mateo, can you read that again and read it with the little note I have in it? Uh, read it with the note? Okay. Yes. Uh, you're welcome, Dylan. In the parentheses, the sarcastically. Exactly. Exactly. So... So whoever the interrogator is, you know, who he's interrogating, that criminal, is basically posing to be Dylan. Like, the interrogator is sarcastically like, you're welcome, quote-unquote, Dylan, but the criminal is not actually Dylan. Does everyone follow so far? Mm -hmm. It is okay if you don't follow, if this is not followable at all. All right. I I follow now. now. Okay, good, good, good. So now... What you want to do is very carefully do the following. Please realize from here on out that if you were playing the interrogator, so Mark, or sorry, yes. Mateo, you were playing yeah. the interrogator. You are now Dylan, okay, from the script, because now the script uses Dylan and Dr. Russo as the names. So you're saying the interrogator is Dylan. Wait, I thought I was though... Dr. Russo. Yeah, I thought I was Dylan. Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> nope. What? Okay, so, wait, wait, so wait, far, Are you saying it, the interrogator, when he says, you're welcome, Dylan, then the interrogator becomes oh, Dylan, even though he was addressing Dylan to somebody else? Well, he was addressing someone else as Dylan, but he was being sarcastic. Oh, so the criminal is, is not Dylan. This is just... Okay. Remind, That's you interesting. Like, the criminal is not Dylan, even though... Okay, hmm, wow. Uh-huh. The I interrogator know. is Dylan. That's okay. what we know so far, okay? Well, wait, so, wait, that's that's really what you're good. saying. I'm not sure we know that yet, but okay. <laughs> yeah, Rashad, Mark, what's up? Say that you were like only like 16, maybe 17 when you wrote this. Probably 16. Yeah. yeah. And I just wanted to say that you have brought a richness and a depth that is just unbecoming 
of a minor, of a child, you have really brought like such such a great, profound, deep, like twisting and turning storyline. It reminds such- me of Hamlet and, and and Macbeth. I think it's close. I think it's close to Shakespeare so, in, in the level of, 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 of how of how rich it is. Exactly. I appreciate the compliments, guys, but I have to disagree because I think Hamlet and and you know Shakespeare in general. I mean, he, Shakespeare's a rookie compared to the writing that we're going to see here. Oh, okay, okay. Bro, bro. Some of the lines, I mean, I te- like I well up with tears as, as we go along in the script. So, Mateo, you're playing Dylan from here on out, all right? And, and I'm Dr. Russo, right? And Mark, you're playing Dr. Russo, okay? So, we're going to start from. Do I have a Dylan. character yet, or are we skip, waiting? Is that near the end? Josh, we're still waiting for your character. You're going to play two characters, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Mateo, start us off. Okay. Um. Now, just keep up this act, and they'll never find out that you're Dr. Russo. Yes, I am a master, am I not? Thanks for doing this, Doctor. Anything for someone who buys my arms. You are the same Dylan Malone that bought my AK-47 in November, right? It's me. Good. I'll go into the slammer for you while you make your important drug deals. Just make sure you bail me out in time. (laughs) Will do. See you on the other side. See you. Cool new phone. <laughs> okay, let's pause. Okay, perfect. So, um, what, do, what do you guys think is happening now so far? Based on the new, fresh information we received, what's um, going on? First of all, is everyone clear about who they are and who they're not? Yes. Yes. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I'm Dylan. Exactly. So, and and you were the uh, person playing the interrogator before. Yeah, so, yeah, but, yeah. So actually, yesterday when me and Josh were going through the script, I, to understand my own script, I had to create a flow chart. Okay? So I am referencing that flow chart right now to make sure we're on track. <laughs> good, so, good. So, yeah. So Mateo was playing interrogator, who's actually Dylan Malone. So what we know so far is that Dylan purchased one, only one gun in November, from Dr. Russo. That's what we know so far. Okay, and number two, we know that Dylan has some, and I quote, important drug deals to make, so he can't be in, quote unquote, the slammer. We also know that the criminal is actually Dr. Russo. What we know so far, he sold exactly one gun to Dylan, and he will literally go to the slammer for his customers. So far, so good, everyone. Yeah, yeah. It makes okay. perfect sense. Come on. It's good business. Yeah, it's a business. He talked to Russo's a nice guy. He's like, yeah, I'll go to jail for you. No worries. Yeah. All good. Perfect. Yeah, all good. That's pretty nice, honestly, of him. Yeah, it is pretty oh. nice, I would say. Like, honestly, if, if Dylan... So far, we know that Dylan has bought exactly only one gun in November from this guy. But right. you know what? That's enough for Doctor Russo to be like, let's let's just go to jail for you, pal. Just make do we know? Sure do we know why? Out. Do we know why he wanted a gun? I guess we don't. We don't know. I mean, we don't mm. know. I guess he it must be for his important drug deals, probably. That's my okay. guess. Yeah. I mean, you'd probably need some sort of weaponry for your important drug deals. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> All right. Good. Good so far. So, someone, anyone noticed the cool new phone line? <laughs> the what? Yeah. 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 I, I At the very know. end. Oh, 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 oh yeah. So yeah, this, this conversation is phone. happening in person, right? They're still talking face to face. That's exactly right. They they are talking to face to face. So one thing in the setup that's important is that when they're at the table, both uh both Dylan and Dr. Russo each have phones, okay? So Dylan notices Dr. Russo's phone says, "See you cool new phone." So far so good. Yeah. I think we're ready to move on to the next part of the script. Introducing a new character named Chief Ragnot. And here's what's going to happen. Who's playing Dylan again? Mateo? Yeah. Okay, so you you don't have any lines yet. Mate, uh, Mark, you're playing Dr. Russo. So you're going to start le- reading lines as, as Ken now, okay? Okay. Okay, so, so let's I'm- start. Okay. Let's start from Dr. Russo. Wait, uh, should I? Do I have a character, or are we or not yet? 
yeah, you're the chief. chief. You're the chief. Oh, okay, so chief. I'm I'm so I'm reading chief. Okay. Yeah, you read chief. Josh, Josh is chief, and I'm Ken. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Well, 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 you should make it clear though that it's Doctor Russo, actually undercover cop, Ken. Yes, Doctor yeah. Russo is that, actually undercover cop, Ken. Ken. Yes. Yeah. All right. Start us off, Mark. All right. Yes. Hello, Chief Ragnot. It's me, Ken. Ken, were you able to get the info? Yes, I've recorded his confession on my phone. Also, Ken, good news. Dr. Russo has been presumed dead under the gunfire of a rival arms dealer, so be careful with your identity. Yes, sir. Okay, so far so good. So, I'm sure you guys have questions now. but Let me hear your guys' questions. I don't want to go in with my understanding. You guys ask your questions. Um, so, okay. Ken is basically like a triple spy. You know what I mean? Like, like he's posing as... I don't, I don't Okay, so when, when, Ken, when so when Ken actually, says I so when Ken says I've recorded his confession, who is he referring to there? He okay, so what we know so far is that Dr. Russo, right, is actually Ken, and Ken is an undercover cop who has recorded the confession of Dylan. That's what we know so far, correct? Okay. All right. So is, is so is Chief Ragnot an actual police chief? Chief Ragnot's an actual chief, yeah, so far okay. that we know of. So we're all good there. And Ken Ken appears to be an actual undercover cop so far. Yeah. All right. So looking at my uh, flow chart, we find that Chief Ragnot tells Ken that the real Dr. Russo is actually presumed dead. Interesting. So he tells Ken, aka Fink Dr. Russo to be careful with his identity because, you know, he's going around as Dr. Russo, but real Dr. Russo is now dead. But Dr. Russo is still alive. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yes, Mark, go for it. So, uh, I think Josh has touched on it, but, like, because we only know that he's presumed dead, but not confirmed dead, does that Mm -hmm. leave some room for maybe Dr. Russo, the real Dr. Russo, to still be alive? Well, Mark, we don't want to get too far into spoilers, aka the next 10 lines of dialogue, but yes, it is very possible that the real Dr. Russo may be very well alive. I see. All right. Where's Dylan? Here. Mateo. Yeah. Start us off, Josh. Surprise, surprise. You're playing real Dr. Russo. And go oh. ahead and stop. Go ahead and stop at the last line from real Dr. Russo, Josh, okay? Okay, so le- we'll leave three lines left? Yes. Okay. Mateo, go ahead. Yeah. Hello? I have faked my death. <laughs> Doctor? But you were just... What? Look, I'm just letting you know, don't do any more transactions for me. Did you get a new iPhone, Doctor? Come on, Dylan. We may have never met face-to-face, but we've done enough payments for you to know that I don't use smartphones. Dylan? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. We have three more lines left, but I think we have enough to dissect already. (laughs) Everyone following along so far. Uh, Yeah. I think I got it. I think I got it. Yeah. Wait, um, I'm just confused. Is Dylan confused because he doesn't realize that there's like two Dr. Russo's now? Okay. Let me me recap from the beginning real quick for myself and for the cast here. And for our listeners, who are paying, I'm sure, lots of close attention to understand the intricacies of this. Okay, we started with Criminal Interrogator. I'll ask you guys questions in quiz form to make sure you guys understand. Mark, at the beginning of the script, the criminal is revealed as who? Um, Ken. No! (laughs) At the beginning. But he's not really Dr. Russo. Okay, okay, okay. So the criminal is revealed to be Dr. Russo in the beginning. Yes. We find out that he sold arms to Dylan and that he will literally go to the slammer for his customers. Later on, there's a twist that this is actually undercover cop Ken, who works for Chief. And then the Chief tells Ken that the real Dr. Russo is presumed dead. And he does that over the the phone, the smartphone. So all those conversations were on the phone. Uh, the conversation between the chief and and Ken. 
Uh, then the interrogator is actually, at the beginning of the script, we find that the interrogator is Dylan Malone. Okay, so far so good. What we know so far, well, Dylan purchased arms from Dr. Russo, and he has some important drug deals to make, so he can't be in the slammer, which is why Dr. Russo is going in the slammer for him. The yes. slammer referring to jail. Dylan yeah. gets a call from the real Dr. Russo saying that the real Dr. Russo is not dead and faked his own death. So we find out that Dylan and the real Dr. Russo never met face to face and that the real Dr. Russo does not use smartphones. However, remember, can use the smartphone. Okay. Dylan and Ken. We're back, right? Mm -hmm. So right. here comes a very important fact in this. Let's say... Uh, let's see, Dylan disconnects the phone, wants to can, wants to disconnect. Uh, okay, I'm just making sure my understanding's right of the script here. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. So, here's what's going to happen. Mark, go ahead and play Dylan. Mateo, play Ken in these last three lines. Wait, wait, but I thought the Mateo is Dylan and I'm Ken. Yeah. But why are we well, swapping now? You'll mm. find out very quickly. <clears throat> Go ahead and swap. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Who is that? It's the guy I need to get the drugs to. Call ended. It's over. And so is this interrogation. Bam! Ken is dead. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank oh you, everybody. God. And that scene, that's the, that's the film. Wow. A, a round of applause for the cast. Yay. Clap, clap, clap. Clap. Okay, good job, everybody. So I'm sure that you have questions about what the hell happened at the end. Yeah. So, so Dylan, so, so Dylan at the end is not Dylan from the beginning, right? Well, what we find out is that. So Dylan goes and asks Ken who he's talking to. And then Ken says he's talking the guy he, to the guy who need, he needed to get the drugs to. Which means that the person who we thought was Ken is actually real Dylan. Oh. And... Wait, but, but, so, I thought, but, but I thought but Ken, was, Ken was also fake Dr. Russo, right? Yes. So, okay, so... so Ken, he was also Ken fake is Dylan fake. at the beginning. But Mateo, can you repeat what you said? Ken was also fake Dylan at the beginning. That... Like at the very, very beginning. Whoa, 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 no, whoa. no Wait, Ken so... is, yeah, they, oh, yeah, from the, at the very, very beginning. Correct. Very, yeah. very beginning. Ken was Dr. Russo, who no, the so, interrogator so the, was at like, the right? So at oh, the beginning, Dylan, is, like, is, the is, Ken, is Ken the interrogator or is Ken criminal at the beginning? Okay, I have my notes. He's the out. criminal, I think. We are all confused so much right now. This is chaos. Yeah. This is chaos. This 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 is meant to be chaos. But I think when me and Josh were talking about it yesterday, when we drew it out, it made actually uh most of it made sense. Most of it. Most I feel like there's, there's there's still like like you know, maybe 15% or something that's like it's 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 very it's very close to making sense, but it's like it's it's impossible for it's it's impossible to like to think about it all at the same time. It's like it's, yeah. it's, it's like trying to think in four dimensions. Like you can think a part of it, but like you, you can't you can't get the full picture in your head. Exactly. Okay, so at the very beginning, we know that there's an interrogator and a criminal. Is everyone good with that? Yes. Okay. Good. And um... I, I think I'm confused about that part. Okay, no, 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 don't, don't be confused on that. We know there's interrogation and criminal, but we do okay. find out that they're doing a like a like a mock interrogation, right? So far, so good. So the criminal yeah. is revealed to be the doctor, right? So that's Doctor Russo, and like, so like they're they're faking it at first because Dylan is the one who's supposed to uh, be in jail, but Doctor Russo is going in for him. That's like yeah, the yeah, Doctor Russo is pretending to be Dylan in this right, mock right, interview. Right. Yes, and and, and that's Dylan why the interrogator is says, "You're welcome, Dylan." Yeah, exactly. And then Dylan is pretending to be a cop. We don't know, like, if he's specifically yeah. trying to be Ken or like who, right? So we don't. Yeah, know yeah. That. He, he's like interrogating himself, basically. Exactly, exactly. And then uh, they both have they they both have phones, right? They both have phones with each with themselves. So you know, they go 
you know, they've had this conversation, the mock is over, whatever. Um, and and one thing to realize is, well, we'll we'll get there, but I think Dr. Russo knows more than one might think. And I think Dylan also knows much more than one might think. So basically, Dr. Russo goes to a separate room, he's talking to the chief, and we understand that he is an undercover cop named Ken. Or at least that's what the chief thinks he is, right? Right. Okay. The chief tells Ken that the real Dr. Rizzo is presumed dead over the phone. So far, so good. And he tells him to, you know, be careful with your identity because, like, the real guy's dead. So, pretty much, be careful. Yeah. Uh, Interrogator, at the very beginning, is Dylan. Dylan gets a call from real Dr. Rizzo saying that he's very, very conveniently faked his own death. But what we later find out is that when Dylan asks Ken who he's talking to, Ken says the drug guy, which means he's admitting that he's actually real Dylan. And that the person... Oh. Yeah, does it make sense? Okay, so so, Ken, well, so, when Ken says, so so when Ken says just the guy I needed to get the drugs, so he's admitting that he's he has drugs yeah, or, yeah. He's, he's, or he's trying to do some Ill- illegal deal or something. Exactly. So Ken, like the person who we thought was Ken is basically admitting he's real Dylan. Like he knows the game is up by then. So he's like, no, you know what? I am real Dylan. But what real Dylan doesn't know is that fake Dylan is real Ken. So. Does, does that make sense? So, so no, why would no, 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 the second I, last line, why would yeah. Ken admit something that he knows would get him in trouble, or maybe he, or I guess he doesn't know that. Okay, so let, let's make it clear that does everyone understand who kills who at the end? Uh, no, no. Wait, can, can I ask this? Can I ask this? So the, in the last three lines, yeah, Dylan here is is that the who, who is that? Is that the interrogator or the criminal in the beginning? Yeah, I think we. I think person, that would be good to exactly. To so clarify. the way you guys switched it, you know, the reason I had you guys switch is because at the very end, real Ken is killing real Dylan. Does that make sense? Oh, oh okay, okay. So, so Dylan is the criminal, and Ken is the interrogator. That's technically right. Like, so yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. At the so very that's end, why, it, that's why we it, had swapped. That's why we swapped. Uh huh. So when yeah. when you're reading okay, line like. Yeah, exactly. So, 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 at, so at the end, the interrogator kills the criminal. Exactly. Okay. And that's why. That's why. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure how legal. I'm not sure how legal it is for someone to just kill someone without a trial. Wait, wait, wait! But... I thought it was the opposite. I thought it was the opposite. No, no, no! The interrogator kills the criminal at the end. No, I thought the criminal kills. Okay, well let's 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 define interrogator and criminal. Hear me out. That's why. Because right. If it was the interrogator killing the criminal, okay, uh, the real interrogator. No, 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 real the interrogator real... was was Ken. Dylan. Yes. No, like, like I'm reading it at the script. It's Dylan. Okay, yeah, okay. So what you, what you're probably getting mixed up on is the actual script writing, because yeah. the last three lines are Dylan, Ken, Dylan, right? Yes. But it's unclear who's actually like at the end. It says, "Bam, Ken is dead," but who's actually dead is Dylan. Oh, really? Okay, that's that's, that... that's my reading of it. I would yeah, love well, to go back in time, ask oh, twenty sixteen okay. Rashab what he was on when he wrote this, <laughs> but uh, I yeah, can't. It, it, it's it's oh, kind of wait, hard wait, to, to talk. To, yeah. Well, I don't get why you you made a swap then. Well, I made a swap because at the very know. end. The person these guys didn't swap. Them. These guys didn't swap. Who didn't swap? Dylan and Ken. Well, they did. They didn't swap in the script, though. See what I mean? Like at the very end, it is real Dylan who dies, and real Ken kills him. There is a real Ken, and there is a real Dylan, and there is a real Doctor Rousseau. Except oh. the real Doctor Rousseau never yeah, is like Dr. in the Rousseau room. Is not there. It's not. He's there. not in the room. He's never in the room. He's only on the phone. Yeah, and yeah. but real Ken and real Dylan are always in the room. Yeah, but, but real Dylan is the criminal. That's right. Yes. 
Okay, so so real Dylan. So, so, the, so what I was saying is right. The, the criminal kills the interrogator. In the sense of the beginning of the script, I think you are correct. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. In that so, sense, yeah. so, so, is, is right. the, so is the criminal real Dylan or real Ken? Well, at the very end, the real the interrogator. The criminal is real Dylan. Yes, correct. Exactly. The criminal yeah. is real Dylan, or yeah, yeah, yes, okay. yes, yes. Like, like, because if you look at the beginning, the interrogator's like, uh, "You're welcome," quote Dylan, but then it's find out he actually is Dylan. You okay, know, you're right. Okay. Yes, exactly. That's right, yeah. Mateo. You, you nailed it. But yeah. at the like, Mateo, you agree that at the very end, that the real Ken kills real Dylan. Mm. <laughs> no. Yeah, I feel like this all makes sense, but the last three lines really confuse everything because no, the, okay, like, because think, in, in, because in the script itself, it's kind of unclear what's happening. Yeah, no, I, I think it can make sense that way. You just didn't write it that way. If, if I'm just going right. in. Like, like what I'm doing now, reading the script blind. The way I'm saying it is how it's right. written. The way okay. the way I'm saying the way I'm saying it is yeah, 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 Dylan, yeah. the real Dylan, kills Ken. So the criminal kills the interrogator. But the way the you're only... saying it, it should have said like criminal or interrogator stuff. It should have been yeah, more. The writing about. is undoubtedly terrible. But I will say the one yeah. thing that gives you a hint towards my theory is that. When quote unquote Ken is saying the lines, right? He says, Oh, just the guy I needed to get the drugs to. Real Ken wouldn't need to get the drugs to anyone. Only real Dylan would need to get the drugs to someone, right? And at the very end, you have fake Dylan slash real Ken say, And so is this interrogation. Only he would say that because he is the interrogator. Josh, are you still there? Is everyone still alive? I don't. I'm still here. I don't, I'm not, I don't think so. I don't think, I think Mark is probably completely lost. Okay, I'm, is... I'm gonna be really honest. I mm -hmm. like tried following along, and then I just kind of like accidentally tuned out everything. Yeah, you know? is that okay? Yeah. Like, can I be open about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you but, should okay, be wait, open wait. about that. It, like, <laughs> let me let me say this. It's confusing, but it's like weirdly not. That confusing. If that makes any sense, I mean, you know what I, mean? I, I think. I think it would be helpful if if you could like rewrite the script, but then like have some clarification at the beginning of like which of yeah. like which character. Like if you say like okay, like or at the end or at the or I, I guess either way. But let's say real real interrogator or like interrogator is real Dylan real Ken. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm still kind of lost on who's who. Well, honestly, I think yeah. we just need more context from Rashad. Was like, it the point though for us to go into this and like be confused? Yes. Well, Mateo, what do you mean by like more context? I don't, but, I don't know. Wait, I just need like more context. Like, how, wait, how long ago did you write this and all that kind of stuff? You know what I mean? I need oh, to yeah. get in the mindset of Rashab. I mean, I don't remember like what the influences were or what, but I think, I mean, I wrote it I probably in 2016. Um, and like, I think the idea was to make like an interrogation scene because it would be easy to film. But I'm pretty sure I can't, you know, say Wait, that. So you were, you were like, I think, I think, be, I think you're saying this would be easy to film, but I think it would be like very difficult to film with all these character switches and stuff. That I think, I well, think it would be it would be hard to make a a story that would be like you know that would make sense. That's true. But, that is true. Well, the nice um, thing is there's technically only two actors the whole time. There's only yeah. two people who who have who are talking on the yeah, on the phone, yeah. and then two Wait. actors. But actually, I disagree with Josh. I feel like it'd be easier if it was visual. Oh, you maybe because be you know what I mean. Because you get the context clues and stuff, right? Because like the then you'd be able to, you'd be able like to you see the down stuff. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's where I'm confused. You know, right? I just want to know if Doctor Russo is real. Yeah. What if What if Doctor Russo isn't real at all? Because we never actually see him. Or. <laughs> there's only someone. There's only someone pretending to be Doctor Russo. But what if real? What if even real Doctor Russo isn't real? That's a good question. I mean, I don't know. What What did you guys think about the realism of it, Mateo? Did you think anything of the realism? You know what? I'm gonna be straight up with you, Rashad. This just kind of yeah. it kind of feels like you just like were watching the news or something. <laughs> you kind of just like wrote down something that happened. Like this feels like this gives it like East Coast vibe. You know this I mean? feels like it. It was almost generated by a bot. It like feels a little bit. Watch like, <laughs> no, no, like I, Law and Order SVU like put together. 
and then like took out all the graphic stuff. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Yeah. I t- what do you mean from the news, Mateo? Does this remind yeah, you like I'll a news story? Up, I'll be straight up, dude. You said you were what, like fifteen or sixteen? Yeah. <laughs> Rashab, I knew you back then. All you were doing was losing your stinking lunchbox and, like, <laughs> you're dropping your binders. There's no way you actually thought up this stinking script. Yeah, I feel There's like... No like I, dude, I feel like you straight up just, like, you're trying to punk us. You literally just, like, were what? You just got this from some new story or something, dude. No oh, way. So are you actually implying that there was a new story where there was, like, a freaking yes. interrogation? Oh my gosh, yeah, Mateo, are you insane? Okay, this happened in 20... No. 16. 16, dude, and you is, think... This is straight out of just, like, something that ha- would have happened, dude. This is some weird mouth of this stuff. So just like, I don't know where you got this, dude. I don't know what you're talking of. Like, in 2016, like, or, like, when? Like, when When would this yes, happen? Yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, 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 really quick. While we're on this topic, really yes. quick. Can we just settle once and for all that I didn't destroy the binder? Mateo destroyed oh, the binder. Why are we, no, we're not <laughs> going to talk about this. <laughs> Wait, this, this you did. I think that, Mark, this, this you was in great English, right? I will admit that. Mark, you, you, were, you did destroy it. I was destroyed. destroyed. I feel like we need to explain this because I, I think wait, I know wait, parts I, of the story. I, there's literally sure. two different things going on in this. I'm literally about to leave the call if we keep talking <laughs> about the binder. And also, if Rashad doesn't stink it, admit, dude. I feel like I straight up read this on like BuzzFeed back in 2016. I... This like okay, so you read story. like a double crossing spy story. On yeah, BuzzFeed. dude. Really? It was, I straight up. I did. Okay, then well, I, I think, think we, got, I think we have to find it. Then we have, someone has to like right. Like, I, like I could what? have sworn I had conversations I like around the lockers and stuff. I still believe you that Rashab mean? made this, but I'm not sure he fully understood it and maybe maybe he's just trying to piece it together now to make it make more sense yeah than he does. like right josh because dead ass i'll be honest these names are like the same of what i remember okay you know? well i don't i don't i don't like, remember like, I, I, like this, but I don't know i can remember this story that's all i'm gonna say okay so I, you're I, saying but i think maybe, maybe like did a little twist on it rashab but straight up like maybe would you put it on the extra like Oh, I'm actually this person. I'm actually this person. But like straight up, dude, I don't buy that you like just came over the story. Wow. Okay, Josh, look it up. No look way. up BuzzFeed 2016. Dr. Russo. Dr. Russo, look that up. Dr. Russo is Ken. I, I, I do I just remember Googled, those names, dude. I just Googled Dr. So Russo weird. Ken interrogation, and there's a bunch of stuff that's not like doesn't look very relevant. But, but look up 2016, Josh. Okay. Is there a 2016? Also, and, and, and are you sure it's BuzzFeed? Or it could be I, I'm, and I'm not sure it's BuzzFeed. I'm not sure okay. it's BuzzFeed. I mean, I you can check. It was, um, there is, oh, I did find a movie, movie from 2016 called Interrogation. But well, I don't I think it... <laughs> okay, Mateo, are you actually accusing me of plagiarism on this right now? I like, kind of am. I don't know. Did I hear from Mark, dude? Am I the only one that, like... Does this ring a bell to anyone else? No, I mean, it, it really. Do. I mean, there's a there's a chance it could have been, but I don't think you. I don't think you there's copied like, this from somewhere. I don't know, dude. I I can't believe a Rashad from back then would like completely do this up. I don't know. Okay, I mean, I, I, I have some well, creative Mark ability. Maybe maybe I feel like I would have talked to this about with Mark or something. That's interesting. Why is Mark still well, muted? Mark, what are your thoughts? No, he's back. No, I've been, I've been here. What the heck? You were muted. Well, I just, I had to like, I had to like sneeze or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. But Mark, because I, I could have sworn I talked to someone about this and it wasn't Rashad. I wouldn't have talked to Rashad about this kind of stuff back in like 2016. No, I'm trying to think about it. It's like story. I Rashad like ripped off a script that I wrote maybe. <laughs> what? It, maybe. <laughs> Maybe oh, like so, so, so now so now we're claiming that we're uh, we copy this from Mark. So the theories are that it's either from BuzzFeed or ripped off from Mark. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Maybe maybe okay. I should create a new theory that it was ripped off from me. It's just so we can have oh. like, three, three competing God, theories. We're not this I think there's some heavy allegations being launched here, and I I just really hope that Rashab did imp- approach this with integrity. And with authentic authenticity, yeah. 
2016 or whenever he wrote this. Yeah. Really, yeah. I mean, why else would Rashad be asking you, Mark, for like thoughts after, right? Apparently, I was very involved back in 2016. I don't remember at all, but apparently, I was. So, um, yeah, I think I think it's fair to say that Rashab might actually be the criminal here. But wow, okay, whoa, okay, that's a brand new discovery. That is a brand new discovery. Uh, uh, Mateo, yeah. I want to go back to your uh, Buzzfeed theory. Where, which My article? Original... Yeah, your original. Wait, 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 Disc- Rashab. Wait, Rashab. Why are you saying okay. theory, bro? I feel like we basically Josh, me, and Mark. This is a theory. Uncovered. It's a theory. It's, it's, it's a theory. theory. It's a game theory. By it's Matt still Matt still very much. Confirmed. It's still very much a theory. Like, we, we have we have no evidence. It's just more like a, I think it's, dude. it's just an. It's a right now. I think it's an unsubstantiated allegation. Then Josh, no, it's all substantiated. Like okay, well, we need some evidence. I don't know, Rashad, dude. Okay. Evidence for me? No, that's not how the law and jury works. I need to start questioning Rashab. Rashab? Okay. Okay, what year? Like, I know it was 2016, but like, what year in high school were you? That was junior. Uh, does anyone remember? Was that, you were was junior? that junior year? Well, well, it, well, like okay, well it could have been. It could have been either. It could, it could have been um, sophomore or junior, I think. Right? Okay. Well, okay, let's just say it was... Because, it was, because, well, no, yeah, no, yeah, it would have yeah, been no, junior. I, got, I, got, I know, no. I know, I know. It would be junior. No, no, senior, I, I, I know senior was senior was sixteen to seventeen, so it could have been junior or senior. Yeah, so it was junior or senior. Let's just say it was junior, right? Okay, it's off junior vibes. Either way, you definitely were like reading the news back then. You know what I mean? Like, right? Yeah, I mean, I was I was old enough to read the news. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, but like, but like, you you were like. You know, there was the presidency, so the news was happening and stuff. You, you, you were, you were like, you were in, yeah. in the zeitgeist. Yeah, that's you know I mean? fair. You, okay. you yeah. just I, I was in the zeitgeist. Stuff. Yeah, I mean, I knew what was okay. going on. Yeah, that's right. I mean, wait, wait, was this the first first script you had ever like written or no? Well, Mark, remember we had done like some some scripting in the cinematic club and stuff yes. and. We did. We did. Well, one wasn't one of them about like triplets and a Finnish maid named Helga or something. Do you remember that at all? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. I don't think. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think we wrote a script like that back then. I so I actually I withdraw my um my accusation of criminal activities. I don't think that you're. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Thank you so much. Or Ken, or Dylan, or any of those people. I think that you're. In the- it sounds like honestly, Mateo's like somehow convinced that I like stole this from like. Wait, 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 why are you guys putting the blame on me again now? Well, I mean, now well, I'm I, getting mad, dude. I mean, you you no are kind way. of. Well, I mean, it. I think Rashad was putting the blame on you because you blamed him for plagiarizing. So. Josh, no, no, <laughs> dude, know. like, dude, you guys, none of you guys remember this story? No, Come I on. don't remember. Well. I, this, this literally is straight up. I, I'm okay. You know what? Now I know for a fact I like read this. Yeah, this, this is insane. This definitely, definitely happened, dude. Rashad, this, okay, just admit it, dude. Okay, I, admit I, it. I expected this podcast to be chaotic, but not quite this chaotic. But yeah, this is like the most. You guys need to take a stand. I'm serious, dude. You guys need to take a stand. Come <laughs> yeah, on, this, this is how the podcast like, goes. Yeah, this is like gotta, actually, this is actually insane. <laughs> I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, it's kind of getting insane, Dude, what do you mean? Dude, okay, I do literally have me pacing back and forth, dude. I straight up, I, should I start Googling this or something or what? Like, but hell, this no is, way. I don't know where, like, this, like, where is this coming from? I'm just so confused right now. Dr. Russo. All this stuff sounds, dude, I'm literally looking up. I found a Dr. Russo. Huntington uh, Beach. Yeah, there's a Dr. Russo somewhere, okay, so what? <laughs> dude, it's just, I, well, get mad. Mad. I just I, I Google I Google Doctor Russo and there's like three doctors named Doctor Russo within like yeah, twenty miles of me. So I don't like Rashab would steal this. There's no wow. way. Tail, wow! Dude, I, I'm, I'm dude, 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 literally everything is stinking adding up. 
You have no, a it, it's really not. Head. It's really not. Dude, Josh. Oh my listen. gosh. Now, I'm, just, okay, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just defending. I'm actually, your... Josh, Josh, Josh. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just Josh. saying, like, if you're making. I don't like, know if we need to edit this I, out or what. Like, this is, I'm getting mad because this is like insane. Like, uh, this is something I worked on, and you're just like. Rashad is, literally, Rashad is literally just copied and stick and pasted this. That's why there's no, no formatting on this. Are you dude. kidding me? There's literally no formatting, nothing. Mark, speak up. I know you're on my side, right, Mark? Like, okay. Rashad literally just stole I have this. to defend Rashad. I don't, like, okay, this, like, yeah. There's I don't, no way. I'm not, like, why? here. I'm okay, wait, why, why do you think wait, there's no way? Okay, why, why am I getting interrogated? I remember the story. This story that, definitely that, happened. There was like a double crossing. I mean, do you want to unpack what it is? I just don't know. Like, we don't have any evidence right now. And that is important, you know? Yeah, uh, we are putting me on trial without any evidence on a podcast I'm doing. I'm a con. <laughs> so, Mateo, I will always have your back and be on your side. What? Thank you. Thank you. Not Josh, 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 you're, Josh, you're on, on my side, side right? No, no, no. Yeah, Josh, I mean, my, Josh, Josh, Josh. No, Josh. no, okay. I think there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a small chance that maybe Rashad could have plagiarized this, but right now I don't oh see any God. evidence of that, so I'm going to have to do this job. Where else is he getting these names? I mean, There's the no names way. aren't that crazy. I think what's more impressive is all is like the character switching and all of that. Yeah, but... there's no way Rashad back in 2016 could have thought of this. Honestly, Mateo, that's low uh, Me? I think I think he could have. You I mean, it's... you just stole it. I think you just stole it, dude. That straight up, dude. I'm getting Rashad. Do you have literally Whoa. any explanation for yourself? There's no way. How, how do you have to? How, he doesn't need to explain I himself. I mean, about like, the idea, like I can potentially think of good characters and good scenarios and good situations and things maybe, like that. Oh my! Maybe now, dude. But back then, no. Uh, okay. No, actually, no, I no. I can under shop side now. Okay. I think what? That he did write it, and that we shouldn't we shouldn't doubt his artistic skills here. Okay. Uh, I don't, wait, Mark, you're not even on my side now? <laughs> well, well, why does, why does he Mark have is, to be on your Mark's side? Mark's flopping sides out here. I, I just think that we are... I think we're taking this too seriously now. I think that there's a heaviness that has settled over the group. I think we need to read through the script one more time. To Mark, I'm about. actually even more offended that you're not on my side than I am mad at Rashab stinking plagiarizing this crap. That, that doesn't no make way. any sense R to me. Josh, shut up. I'm asking Rashab questions. Rashab, what software did you write this on? I need the details. There's no way. Okay, I mean, dude, Google's I don't like, know. It was probably like, like Google Docs. Would you write it on? Or in a Google Docs. Like, I, that's not much of it. Yeah, Google I mean, Docs, it was... Dude, no one was using Google Docs back in 2016. Are you kidding me? Everyone was using Google Docs. Dude, not Rashab. Trust me. Wow, okay, so I don't know, Rashad, like... If... Answer the question, dude! Okay, yes, I used Word. Fine. Okay, Rashab, another question. Why were? Why didn't you write, like, a slug line? Why were you only writing their name, like, interrogator criminal, interrogator criminal? There was no formatting. I mean, I'm not, like, a film expert, like, you know... I... There, there's enough, like, there's not a uh -huh, lot of formatting, but there's uh -huh. enough formatting for it to, like, be readable. Like, Rashad, Why did you literally just call it interrogation? Because well, it's set exactly. in a room, it's, it's a table. It's an interrogation two that you just saw online, dude. Oh my god, no Mateo, this is just so insane. Well, I think I think a question I have for Mateo is, is, is why, why would Rashab just copy something? No, 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 no Josh, I want to hear this from Mateo. Hold on. Dude, Rashab got, that's, that's why it's stinking Dylan Ken Dylan right at the end, dude. Because you got stinking confused yourself from the story. Dude, that's it. The call ended, it's over. So... So Mateo, you know what, do you Mateo, think, you think this is Mateo, something... No, 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 Josh, you know what? You think the call's over? Mateo, so is this interrogation. Okay? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Holy shit. So... There we go. And scene. And scene. And scene. Oh, we're stopping the recording? Okay. All right. Josh, Mark, are you still there? Yeah. Are you guys still there? I think it's still recording, though, isn't it? It's still recording. Nobody stopped the recording. Okay. Did you guys plan for that to happen, or did that just happen because you and Mateo have this, like... I don't think that was planned at all. Guys, that was planned. That, that interrogation was planned. Was planned. <laughs> Wait a minute. The really? real interrogation. 
I thought this, this so, podcast. So Mateo wasn't this. going in blind. This like I was set up for this too. You were set up, and Mark was set, set up. up. We were both in on it. But, yeah. Oh my goodness, that was. <laughs> Always wow. remember when you're on a Rashad project, nothing is as it seems. Wow. Oh my goodness, was, that actually threw me for a loop. That, yeah, was, that was that was clever. I thought this was real, and I was like actually defending Rashad. Yeah, I no, I, know, I would know. honestly be really pissed off if Mateo. Oh, but Mark, you took Mateo's side for so long there. Okay, no, but listen, I... Okay. You thought I plagiarized this? <laughs> no, listen, I kind of, like... Okay, I... Shop, I came around at the end. You can't even say that I didn't. Yeah, I will, yeah. Yeah, you did, you did. It's fun. It's fun to, like... Mateo and I just can have this, like, combative energy that joins uh-huh. forces against the likes of you and Josh, and it's fun sometimes. So, yeah, I was having <laughs> fun. But then I kind of thought Mateo took it too far. So, I was like, whoa, oh, chill. Okay. So, that's so true. That's this, true. So, so did Mateo actually read this before or when he said that he no. didn't? Okay. I, I didn't read it before. I didn't read it. But you had, but you had plan. So, so, who, so who, who, whose idea was it to accuse Rashad of plagiarism? Rashad. It was Rashad's. It was my idea. But the last, uh, yeah. well, so basically we wanted Mateo to end his interrogation of me by saying, that's yeah. it. The call ended. It's over, like the script. And then uh, I would end by yeah. saying, and so is this interrogation. I, I, I want to say this. Literally, all of that was improv. All Rashad said was like... Yeah, I like literally we just and improvised real, everything. And just like, and the, and the thing was this. Like, can I get a round of applause for my acting? Yeah, yes, round of applause for Mateo's now. acting. That was right? incredible. Come on. You, know, you guys believe it, right? Well, I never even expected it was staged because the way that happened felt like so natural between you two. I, I was kind of shocked. Right? I think, yeah. it, still, uh, I think mm-hmm. it uh fits into our dynamic, so it made it more believable. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. that's we that's are all I, in... I feel like I should have said more. I feel like I got kind of quiet because I was just like listening to you guys go at it and I like didn't know what to say. But I was directing Mateo a little bit through our Discord chat, but other than yeah. that, Mateo improvised everything. Come on. Yeah, there was a lot of improv in there. A lot of, there was I, a lot I, of improv. Slowly, there was a lot of improv, yeah. We had to we had yeah, to make sure it built up slowly. This has been the interrogation of the century in my book. I know. Thank you so yeah. much, guys, for attending what ended up being a real interrogation. <laughs> I'm just, or was I'm it? Sure. I never expected this. This was like such a huge twist. Yeah. But. Thank you. I'm always there for the twists. Yeah. Josh, can we have a fight now or something? <laughs> I think you guys need to have a fight. You guys need to have uh, a fight. Well, you guys need yeah, to you, if you want, you can you can ask me more about about venial sin, but I don't. Yeah, do you have any that, more that, that might be that might be good for so another podcast. <laughs> Thanks everyone oh, for being here. Awesome. Thanks for talking Damn. interrogation. Josh, Mark, Matteo, aka Al Pacino. Thanks Excuse for being me? on the show <laughs> and for dissecting interrogation together. Oh. Yeah, Matteo. Yeah, thanks. Mateo and I do a podcast called Ox Fiends and another one called Expressionist Discovery. If you want to yeah. hear some of that banter, but in real life, check it out. Please thanks, everyone. Yeah. Argamia is a guest on one of those one day. Uh, one day maybe. One, maybe. One day. One day. One day. Well, when you get our kind of acting up in our banter. Like, okay. I'm kidding. Maybe. All right, all right. Interrogations are never over when you think they are. So here's a few questions for you. Did you like the episode? What did you think of the hosting? Did you like and subscribe yet? Make sure to do that. And while you're at it, make sure to check out the podcasts Ox Fiends and Expressionist Discovery, hosted by Mr. Mateo and myself. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you guys on the next one.